Jokic just does not have the firepower. Jokic inside, off, rebound, collected by Bridges. Foul on Jokic, down goes Payne and across the face, and here we go. Cameron Payne is still down. And you've got the two superstars going jaw to jaw here in Jokic and Devin Booker. Here's the foul here in the swipe. We got all ball. I'm sure they'll look at this. But there is kind of a wind-up and hits him on the shoulder. The wind-up is the... Yeah, that's the wind-up right there. Oh, yeah, he definitely got him in the face. Absolutely, across the nose. See, something like this, you can break your nose. Yeah, I, I see this being a flagrant one because of the wind-up, Kevin. Michael Malone was talking about his MVP, Jokic. He said he is mentally... And physically double tension fouls. He is on Jokic and Booker. And that's a lot to carry. Especially when Murray went down, right? And he played every game this year, 72, All on his 72, yes. on his campaign for winning MVP. But this is a frustration foul. He felt that he was fouled. They didn't call it. And there's the windup and the swing. I'm wondering why people are upset here. This is absolutely a flagrant one. It can get grisly. If it's a flagrant on Jokic, it would be his first in the last three seasons. Well, if you're Michael Malone, what did he call him? Soft? He said they quit and he's been quit. This is what he's been looking for, right? The problem is they're down 3 nothing, And right now, Chris Paul, Devin Booker are cooking them to the tune of 49 points. Love Book. That's what Book is supposed to do. Now, Jay Crowder is supposed to come in and grab him. Because you don't want anything happening to Devin Booker. Bridges is trying to get him away. Well, what do you think? I, I think it's the windup. I think this is the flagrant one well, on, the on wind up, The windup is the most. I mean, the optics tell you yeah. that that probably is. And across his where face they too. Begin, yes. These two teams have been at each other a lot this season in two of the games in the regular season. They both went to overtime. Third one was a one possession game and the road team won all three in this series. We have seen the Suns win and win handily. By 17, 25 and 14 points. Again, here's the foul by Jokic. In my opinion, the windup across the face of Cameron Payne as he's going for the basketball. Now he's very fortunate he didn't get his nose broken on that. And then, and then again, going that, nose to it, nose with it, these it, two. Exactly. Devin Booker, the Joker, the MVP, Jokic, going nose to nose here. Maybe this wakes up the Nuggets because right now the Suns have been having their way not only throughout this series, but tonight. 
And maybe this takes a little bit of the steam away the replay review. from Booker there is and CB3. Wind CB3 up, who impact, on the bench and follow through. Happened. It is a flagrant penalty two on Jokic. He's Barely. ejected from the game. There is also a technical foul on Booker for Barely. the actions during the dead ball. Fortunately, our uh, mic is not working over there. It's a flagrant two. We're going to take you now to Secaucus. Jason Phillips will join us. Jason, what did you see and what was the conversation like? Hey, Kevin, Reggie. Go ahead, Jason. What the officials saw during review here uh, by Jokic was wind up, impact, and follow through all to the extent of unnecessary and excessive contact. Therefore, it met the criteria for a flagrant foul penalty two in this situation. After the officials looked at that, they felt like that it checked those boxes and therefore deemed it a flagrant foul penalty two. And then Devin Booker was assessed a flagrant, or excuse me, a technical foul uh, for the interaction with Jokic after the flagrant foul two. Well now, Jokic is gone. Wow, uh, I'm a little surprised. I certainly had a flagrant one. But I understand where they're coming from about the wind up and the follow through across the face of Cameron Payne. And your MVP is done for the night and possibly for his season. Before he left, Jokic did go over and speak to Payne and then walk off, as we saw. I, I have to say that I've seen a lot worse that have turned into just a flavor of one. I I'm a little surprised that he would get a flavor of two on that. Great sportsmanship. Uh, it, it, it was a. Yes. And we know there was all sorts of Booker technicals we talked about. And the last word he said, too, violently to the face of Cameron Payne. That's the official. Pat Frayer came over and explained their decision behind that. The wind up and the violent act to the face of Cameron Payne. Payne tees up a three. Offensive foul on Payne with the leg kick. He was over there and the close by Compazzo. And Payne will pick it up. Payne's being thrown on the floor here from the fans. 